Okay, so a really common question that comes up literally every day is tummy tuck or liposuction. Do I need a tummy tuck or can I just have lipo? Or I want a tummy tuck, but maybe you're not a candidate. So this is a really good uh, example of kind of these issues and I wanted to talk about it. We, we've had a discussion already and she's, she's really reasonable and, and we kind of came up with a pretty good plan. So she's, she's had four children and so her skin is actually, I would say, very good quality and doesn't really look like she's had four kids, but she does have a little bit of this overhang here and she has some stretch marks in this area, but her primary problem here is actually fat. And so you'll remember that the if you uh, look at liposuction versus tummy tuck, if your primary problem is extra skin, then we do a tummy tuck. If your primary problem is extra fat, then we do lipo. The difficult uh, the difficulty comes in when we have patients that are kind of in the middle, and there's a lot of people that live in the middle. And so this is a really good example of someone lives in the middle. She's got some fat, she's got some skin looseness, she's got some stretch marks. I don't really think she's got enough skin to do a tummy tuck because a tummy tuck would remove, you know, this amount of skin. And so our plan is we're going to do liposuction. And then she asked me, you know, well, what's it going to be like afterwards? Is, am I going to have a lot of loose skin? Is it, is it going to be a problem? And the, the answer that I had is that I don't really know. And even though I've seen, you know, hundreds and hundreds of patients go through lipo and see what their skin does, it's still very difficult to predict if somebody's skin is going to be good or not. So I think the fact that she's had four children has relatively few stretch marks um, I think her skin is probably going to retract pretty good and it really won't be an issue. But here's the thing, and this is the interesting point. Let's say she, a year from now, because you always have to wait for a year for everything to heal. Let's say she's had the liposuction, which we're going to do today. She's had the lipo. She has some, a little loose skin here that she's not happy with. That's okay. We can do a mini tummy tuck at that point. Now, a mini tummy tuck is just excision. It would probably be excision of some of this skin. And it's not moving the belly button. We're not tightening the abdominal muscles. We're not lifting all of this up. And so it's a fairly easy recovery and it's a pretty easy operation just to remove some of that skin. Well, you may say, okay, well, why don't you just do a mini tummy tuck now? The point is that she may not need it. And if we don't have to do it, it's going to look better if we were to do it later on. So I, I know this sometimes confuses the issue because people are always like, well, I thought you like to do a tummy first. I do. I like to do a tummy tuck first before I do the light bulb. But in this situation, she just doesn't have enough skin for a full tummy tuck. Why don't you do a mini tummy tuck first? Because I think she may be okay and there's no point doing an operation if it's gonna turn out okay anyway. So the plan here, we're gonna do lipo all the way around. We're gonna let her heal for a year. If there's a little roll of skin that bothers her, we'll do a little mini tummy tuck. If everything looks good, then she doesn't need any other operation. And so, you know, this is, this is a good discussion to have and really to kind of understand what we're doing. And sometimes we just need to be able to wait and see what happens where the skin redrapes in order to make a decision. And so a lot of times in plastic surgery, we do things called staging. So we will intentionally do one stage knowing that we will have to do a second stage or sometimes with reconstruction of the nose or reconstruction of the breast, we're planning even multiple stages. So this is kind of the same line of thinking is that we're going to do the lipo, let the skin redrape, see where things are, and then come up with a plan at that point, which is usually 12 months after the initial operation.